Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title of this video, I am filming a first impressions on the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. I bought the system. So in the system, I got the foundation, I got the primer, I got the powder, and I got the two makeup brushes that come in the system. I paid $2.50, so there was a little bit of savings. But oh boy, did I struggle with the shipping. Oh my gosh. Pat McGrath is so hit or miss when it comes to shipping. I ordered on the Friday that it launched. I paid for two-day air. And my package didn't get to me until almost a week and a half later. Which I didn't really mind about like being first. I just wanted my foundation because... I've had experiences with her brand where things are slow, so that's why I paid for the expedited shipping because I just wanted it in like a timely manner and I thought that she would have had her, you know, shipping situation sorted out from previous launches, but no, they still haven't improved, so that would be my, like my number one thing that I wish that Pat McGrath would get better at is their shipping, like they're like a million, millions of dollar company, like let's get it together. So anyway, I did film a demo of me putting all the products on and uh, yeah, I forgot to turn my mic on, which doesn't happen often, but it's definitely happened before and I definitely remember while I was filming, I was like, wouldn't it be terrible if I forgot to turn my mic on after all the talking I just did? And yeah, it happened. So it is what it is. I'm gonna voice over the application portion. I hope you guys don't mind. You know, it'll be fine. I'm just, ugh, I'm so bummed that I did that. I'm gonna need to make like a post-it, stick it on my camera stand saying like, make sure your mic's turned on, like don't be a lazy bitch. So anyway, let's get into the demo. So you guys, for $250, is this gonna blow your mind? Probably not. I've had this foundation on for about an hour and I don't hate it, I really don't. This mirror that I use to film with is very magnified. So I can see like every pore, every imperfection in my skin, I can see it in this mirror. And so I didn't love how it looked in the mirror, but I did get up and go and look at my skin in the bathroom mirror, which is where I usually like look at my face in the morning and I do like how it looked in that lighting. Now it's a very artificial lighting, it's very yellow, so I don't know what it's gonna feel and look like in natural lighting, but I will leave my thoughts after I test it out on like a work day because I wanna see how long lasting it is and how the shade looks in natural regular daylight. So I will check it out and leave comments in the description box of my overall thoughts on the foundation but it is a first impression so far i like it i don't know that it's worth the price point to be very honest like i've been trying out a lot of different foundations since foundations are the rage so i've been trying out the naked foundation that urban decay just came out with i wore the anastasia foundation the other day and i really like the naked one i think that one is my favorite and the anastasia one was okay this one is good but it comes as a very high cost and I'm expecting like, you know, if I wasn't married, like I would expect this foundation to like catch me like a billionaire boyfriend because 250 bucks is an investment. Like I could get a, get myself a dating app, you know, and find myself a man with this foundation. So <laughs> where am I going with this? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I don't know if it's worth the price tag and I can't tell you how long wearing it is because 
I'm not gonna go anywhere after this foundation filming situation. I'm just gonna sit on my couch, edit this video, and then I'm gonna take all this makeup off. So I will let you know my thoughts after wearing it, like through a work day and stuff, and I'll keep you guys posted in upcoming videos. Also, you guys, let me know if you've tried out this foundation. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you're unsure about this, I would say just get a sample if you're able to. Otherwise, buy it from Sephora, so if you don't like it, you can return it because not everyone lives by a Sephora store, just so you guys know. Like me, I don't live near a Sephora store, so I can't just go get a sample. I had to buy the whole fucking situation to test it out. So, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Like, is it a little bit ridiculous of a price point that you would never, ever, 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 ever consider buying it? Or are you on the fence? Are you thinking about it? Are you fantasizing about how delicious and nutritious your skin is going to look? So I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys.